We thank God for you today, those that are listening via our conference call. Amen. Hallelujah. And those that are watching via our uh, YouTube, Agape Web TV, those that are, amen, here in the sanctuary. Amen. And we just thanking God for his blessings. The blessings of the Lord, amen, maketh the rich and addeth no sorrow to it. Amen. And when we trust in the Lord with all our heart, and when we lean not to our own understanding, hallelujah, and if in all our ways we acknowledge him, we're on the road that he has set before us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He shall direct our path. They put police officers when the lights go out. In. Amen. Hallelujah. They put crosswalkers, amen, to direct your path. Amen. We have ushers at the door to direct your path. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful to the Lord that we have the Holy Ghost, yes. the paraclete, that holy thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of the oh, living yes, God Lord. to Lord. direct our path. The spirit that moved oh. upon the face of the waters, the separated sky from earth, land from sea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We have the spirit of the living God. Amen to, amen, direct our path. Amen. Today we will be in the book of 2 Corinthians. We will be in the fifth chapter, starting at the 14th verse, all the way down through the 21st verse. We're going to be talking from the subject today. Amen. A new beginning. A new beginning. The book of Corinthians written by the Apostle Paul to the church at Corinth. The church at Corinth, amen. They got the Holy Ghost, got saved, amen. But they became factions in the church. People were following Apollos. Some say it was for Apollos. Some say it was of Cephas, amen. Hallelujah. Some say they were Paul. They had gifts and talents in the church, and they felt that their gifts and talents, amen, allowed them to be in charge. Because I have a gift of prophecy, because I can sing better than you, because I can preach better than you, I should be in charge, amen. Y'all should listen to me, hallelujah. And so Paul wrote a letter, amen. He hear word of what was going on at Corinth, so he sent a letter of correction, amen, mainly in the first letter, amen, the first Corinthians, second Corinthians was more personable, amen, hallelujah, it wasn't as methodical as, amen, first Corinthians, amen, but he gave them some understanding on, amen, if you're going to come out of sin, if you're going to come out of darkness, if you're going to put on anything, you should be putting on Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. If you're going to live any old kind of way, you should be living according to the will of God. Hallelujah. And so he gave his personal testimony of what he went through. Amen. And the, and the being confident. Hallelujah. Of ministry in the future. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And in this fifth chapter, hallelujah, around the 14th verse, hallelujah, it says, for the love of Christ constraineth us, it, it, it calls us, amen, constrained, amen, basically means you have the calling of God, it doesn't just mean that you're being held, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, but it also, amen, gives the connotation of, amen, hallelujah, doing a work, amen, hallelujah, the, the Greek word, amen, means to press, Hallelujah, hallelujah. It gives you unction and unctionizes us, give us purpose. Hallelujah. In other words, you have a job to do. Hallelujah, 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 Lord God. We, we, we need to, amen, accept the calling and do the work that God has called us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. And, it's, and the calling came by the love. Amen. Our salvation came by the love. For God so loved, I preached that, yeah, well, that last Sunday. Yes. Hallelujah. God so loved the world that he gave, hallelujah, his only begotten son. So the ministry of love was passed down from God the Father, amen, to the Son. And so see, we see the next generation coming up, amen, saying for God, uh, for the love of Christ, amen, that is showed by the love of God, sending Christ, 
Amen. That love constraineth us. It calls us to give us purpose. Hallelujah. Because uh, we thus judge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, that if one died for all, then we are all dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he died for the sins of the world, then the world was in sin. Hallelujah. And if the world wasn't in sin, there would have been no need for Jesus to die. That's what's wrong with these folk that feel like they, if they live a moral life, if they treat everybody right, amen, everything is all right. I don't need God. I don't need religion. Hallelujah. All I need to do is to treat everybody right and everything will be all right. My friend, you are mistaken. You should treat everybody right. Absolutely. You should live a moral life. Absolutely. But in all you're getting, get understanding. You need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. And understand the fact that he died for the sins of the world. Hallelujah. If one died for all, then all were dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And understand we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity and come short of the glory of God. And that he died, the 15 verse says, and that he died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him who died for them and rose again. Hallelujah. This salvation is not, amen, given to you so you can live the way you think the salvation should live, to go. Amen. People get the Holy Ghost. They get. They come into church, amen. They get saved, set free, and delivered only to dictate to the church and to themselves and to their family what it is and how it is they should live their life. Amen. And so you've given your life to Christ. Can he be in charge? Can Christ drive? Amen. Hallelujah. Can he, be, can he do the work? Hallelujah. And he's the one that died on the cross. Hallelujah. He's the one that gave up the ghost. He is the one that said, all power has been given unto me in heaven and earth. Can he be in charge? Can he, can he govern your life? Hallelujah. And so once we come into Christ and know, amen, that he brought us out of darkness, he brought us out of the flesh and into the spirit, hallelujah, now we go forward in him. Hallelujah. He said, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Hallelujah. Wherefore, henceforth, Hallelujah. No, we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Amen. He was here in the flesh. He was in his body. Amen. But, amen, the body was crucified that we may live. Amen. He died for the sins of the world. 17th. Hallelujah. Verse in our key verse. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. Old things, that's a seminar all by itself, are passed away. Behold, all things have what? Become new. All things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Jesus, I wish I had. I wish I had two hours for that right by itself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. We have received salvation from God. We have received, amen, the redeeming power of God in our lives. And we've taken the glorious gospel. We've taken the power of God. And we have subjugated the people of God to our will and purpose. Instead of God's will and purpose. And it's important for us as believers to know. Hallelujah. That he has reconciled us. He's given us the ministry of reconciliation. Yes. When thou art converted. Strengthen thy brother. Don't give him dogma. Don't give him religion. Hallelujah. Give him the word of God. God. In him we live. In him we move. In him we exist by the power of God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. He is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You have to get in Christ to become new. It's not 
just going into the door. It's not just doing the Hail Mary. It's not just kneeling down in prayer. It's not just singing the songs. It's not just lifting our hands in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. I wish I had some help in here. Hallelujah. We got to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And we got to enter his gates with thanksgiving. We got to enter his courts with praise. We got to be thankful unto him. And we're going to bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth through all generations. Ah, God, I got to get into his presence. I got to get into his glory. I got to get into his presence so I can be delivered. I can be set free. Hallelujah. Because in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. And at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. Away with standing in the presence of sinners. And hallelujah. Standing in the presence of the flesh. Hallelujah. Standing in the presence of degradation. Hallelujah. But I want to be in the presence of the Lord. I want to see him. Ah, look upon his face. There to see forever. Hallelujah. Of his, my Savior's grace. On the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice. Cares are past. Home and last. Ever to rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For your glory. Hallelujah. I will do anything. Hallelujah. Just to see you. Just to be a part of who you are. Hallelujah. Just to be a part of the ministry. God, just have me in here. Hallelujah. If I got to usher, let me usher. Hallelujah. If I got to clean the floor, God, let me clean the floor. Hallelujah. If I got to wash windows, yes, I do windows. Hallelujah. I will do the windows. Whatever needs to be done in the house of God, I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. Because my salvation is not based upon man. Man didn't die for my sin. Man didn't save me. Man didn't bring me out of darkness into this marvelous life. Ain't nobody here on this earth how to shed blood for me. Hallelujah. That saved my soul. Hallelujah. But only one. Hallelujah. Died on the cross of Calvary. And he did it just for me. Hallelujah. For God I live. For God I die. Oh, it is Jesus. Hallelujah. It's Jesus in my soul. Hallelujah. For I touched the hem of his garment. And he has made me whole. Hallelujah. He has made me whole. Hallelujah. Has he made you whole today? Hallelujah. So if you're in Christ, you are a new creature. Why are you leaning to your own understanding? Why are you looking to your past and the things of your past with joy to go back to those things that are not convenient? Hallelujah. Why would you turn like a dog turn to his own vomit? Why would you turn back to sin? Hallelujah. Turn back to the world. Turn back to Satan. The thief coming. But the still. I wish I had a minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The thief coming. But the still kill and destroy. But I am come that you may have a life. And I, you may have it more abundantly. I got an abundance of life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In him was light. Hallelujah. And the light was what? The life of men. Hallelujah. And the light shined. Hey, God. Thank you. The light shined in darkness. And darkness comprehended. Oh, God. Hallelujah. The darkness comprehended it not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today, saints and friends of God, we need a new beginning. Hallelujah. We need to, in order to get a new, we got to go back to the old. Hallelujah. Not the old man, not to sin, not to Satan, but we got to go back to the original plan. We were created in God's image. We was created in his likeness. We walked away from holiness and righteousness, and we chose sin. We chose sin. Hallelujah. Sin has no power over us. It has no authority over us. Hallelujah. So if we are in sin, it's because we choose to do it. Hallelujah. Yes, we are born in sin, shaped in iniquity, and come short of the glory of God. But I'm not talking to the sinner today. I'm talking to those that believe. Hallelujah. I'm talking to those that once you you did run well. What did hallelujah, who did hinder you that you believe not the truth? Who have bewitched you? Hallelujah. Taking you away from the godliness of God, the truth of God's word and brought you unto fables. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All things are of God who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. We don't want to reconcile David, amen. When Nathan came to him and said, what should be done with the man that had many sheep? 
Amen. And he went and took the man that had one. Hallelujah. He had one sheep, David. What should be done with this man? Kill him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Destroy him. Hallelujah. Thou art a man. Oh, God, I need you to heal me. I need you to purge me. I need you to wash me. Hallelujah. You need reconciliation when it's your sin. But when it's somebody else's sin, you're ready to condemn them. Hallelujah. You're ready to cast them right into hell. But he has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Hallelujah. When we are converted, strengthen our brother. The strong are the bad. The infirmities of the weak. Hallelujah. So we need to go and see about our brother. Hallelujah, our sister. Hallelujah, and bring them back to Christ. Hallelujah. And if you're out there and you're lost in sin, you're, lo you're caught up in a situation, all you have to do, whosoever calleth upon, oh God, thank you, whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God will help you, and that right early. God will deliver you. God will set you free. All you have to do, hallelujah, is open up your heart. Hallelujah. Jesus will come into your heart and your mind. He will renew your strength. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. All you have to do, hallelujah, is stop looking at the problem. Hallelujah. When the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. Stop looking at the enemy. Stop looking at the flood. And put your eyes, him I will keep in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on me. I will lift my eyes until to the hills will come of my help. My help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and the earth. Because the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. His ears are tentative to their cry. He's waiting to hear you say Jesus. He's waiting to say, Lord, help me. He's waiting to hear you say it. Say it. Hallelujah. Say it. Hallelujah. Hey, God, thank you. Hallelujah. You have not. Hallelujah. Because you ask not, asking it shall be given. Seeking you shall find. Hallelujah. Disciples got upset one time and said, Jesus, you want us to call fire down from heaven? Jesus said, don't do it. Hallelujah. Which means they could have done it. Hallelujah. 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 We need that kind of faith today. Hallelujah. We need to, need, need to call it fire from heaven to consume up the enemy. Hallelujah. And have the faith to know that what we're in and whatever we're going through, God is going to bring us out. He's going to bring us out. He's given it to us the ministry of reconciliation to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them. In other words, you didn't have to pay for your own sins. You did it. You meant to do it. Born in sin, shaped into iniquity. God hates sin, but he's not going to punish you for the sin that you do. You can find forgiveness in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not to continue in sin. Hallelujah. To get out of sin. Hallelujah. You have a way out. You have a, he prepared a way of escape. Hallelujah. For you out of sin. But you got to believe God to get out of sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The children of Israel had a snake biting at their feet. Hallelujah. And, and, and God told Moses to, to get a brazen serpent and uh, stick it on the pole and, and put it up. And if the people, hallelujah, will look up at the brazen serpent, hallelujah, they will be healed. Hallelujah. But who's going to look up when snakes are on the ground, when things are biting at your feet? Hallelujah. But you need faith to look up. Hallelujah. And see your deliverance and see your blessing. Hallelujah. See your salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Jesus said as Moses, amen, held the serpent, amen, up in the wilderness. So shall the man of God. Hallelujah. Be lifted up. Hallelujah. We need to look up unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Look up in Leah. He said, if I be lifted up above the earth, I'll draw all oh, men. Hallelujah. I'll draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. Now then, 20th verse. We are ambassadors for Christ, not for a church, not for an organization. We are ambassadors for Christ. Hallelujah. 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 The best thing you can do for agape is to serve Christ. Hallelujah. Don't push agape, push Christ. 
Hallelujah. The best thing you can do for International Bible Way, the state of Virginia, in any organization you belong to. Hallelujah. To be an ambassador for Christ, and then you are a true ambassador. Hallelujah. For the organization. Hallelujah. Don't put the organization first. Put Christ first. Hallelujah. If you put Christ first, then the organization is all right because the organization is in Christ. Hallelujah. We are the church. In, of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to go to Memphis to get it. Hallelujah. It's right here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray for you in Christ's stead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Be ye reconciled to God. The final verse 24, 21st verse, for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. The righteousness, the purity of God in Christ. Christ is our role to be in, in God's image and in his likeness. He is the road. Hallelujah. So we have to, amen, hallelujah, deny the flesh, take up the cross. And anyone come after me, he must what? First, deny himself, take up the cross, and follow him. Hallelujah. So what we have to do is come out of self and come out of the flesh. Hallelujah. And walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. If you walk in the spirit, the Bible says you will not fulfill the lust. Oh God, I thank God for God's word. You will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. If any man be in Christ, he is a what? New creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. New beginning. New beginning. Hallelujah. Get in Christ. Your relationship with Christ will give you a brand new beginning. New mercies I see every day. Yes. Hallelujah. Because I am in Christ. Yes. Christ is in me. If I am you and you're in me, speak what you will. You can ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. We need to have Christ down on the inside. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Hallelujah. I can't do it because I don't have Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can have a Maserati, but if you don't have a motor in there, it won't go nowhere unless you push it. Hallelujah. We pushing stuff downhill, and we thinking, hey, man, ain't that thing running good? Silent, too. Quiet as a puppy. Lord, that thing is silent. It's good car. Hallelujah. But when you get to the bottom of the hill, what you going to do? Hallelujah. There's no more momentum. Hallelujah, there's no more flow. Hallelujah. What you gonna do then? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You wanna push it back up the hill to try and press somebody else? Hallelujah. Oh, you're gonna get your motor. You need a motor. Hallelujah. You need an engine. Hallelujah. You need the spirit of God. When the he, the spirit of truth has come, he will lead and guide you. He will guide you to all truth. Hallelujah. After that, mm, Oh, God, hallelujah. I wish I had a church in here. Hallelujah. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall have power. You shall be witnesses on You got your motor now. You can keep going. Keep your, Get your motor running. Hallelujah. Move out on the highway. Hallelujah. 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 Get your motor running. Hallelujah. Get out on the highway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. A new beginning. Those that are in Christ, amen, hallelujah, you have a new beginning. If you be in Christ, you are a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your people today. Somebody needed to hear this today. Somebody needed to know, amen, hallelujah. If we're in Christ we're a new creature. I'm tired of the same old and the same old. Yeah. Hallelujah. Day after day, they need a newness. They need a refreshing. Amen. Lord God, hallelujah. They need to be made new. Amen. And God, we ask you to bless, touch, and deliver, make a way out of the open doors to seemingly close. Yeah. Lord God, we ask you to bless the people everywhere. Hallelujah. That need to be made new. Every day, new mercies we see every day, God. Great is thy faithfulness unto us, Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord. Hey, God, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. And we thank you for that. Hallelujah. Bless you. Touch and deliver. Make a way out of nowhere. Open doors that seemingly close. These and all blessings we ask. In Jesus' name I pray. Everybody say amen. amen. Come on.